This video is about the Cospet Tank T3 Ultra and it has a little bit of a background story because for a long time I didn't ride my bike as much as I wanted but a couple of weeks ago I started at a new workplace and I am back in the saddle and I really wanted to track my progress because I felt that I had lost a lot of fitness and I was looking at some smart watches and some fitness trackers. So I was really glad when Cospet reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to test out our newest uh, smart watch? And I said, sure, why not? And they sent it to me. I have used it for about three weeks now. And I think I get a good understanding of what it's like. And this is what you get. When you receive it, you will be impressed by the quality. It is a very robust and a very well-built uh, watch. It has a great silicone strap, which is nice and soft, which I really, really like. Uh, it is very comfortable to wear. It is waterproof, it can take a beating, and I love it that I don't need to take it off when I'm typing at the computer with it because it doesn't scratch the palm rest of my laptop. Uh, the display is really good and very well legible, even in bright sunlight. Mind you, you have to set the brightness yourself because there is no auto brightness built into it. The watch shows you the time, your messages, your heart rate, your blood oxygen level. It counts your steps, it tracks your sleep, and it has a built-in GPS, which is a big deal. It's got a built-in weather app as well, and you can take phone calls too. It has 170 sport modes, but I'm going to talk about that later because <clears throat> 170, I couldn't even name 170 sports. There are some other apps pre-installed on the watch as well, such as a calculator, a timer, a countdown timer, and a few others too. The interaction with this watch is via its four buttons on the side and the touch screen. You swipe down to access your quick settings, you swipe up to access your most important stats and apps, you swipe right to reveal your messages such as your text, your email, your WhatsApp or any messages that you want to enable in the companion app on your phone and you can even get your system messages and alerts as well. Touch and hold the display to change between the watch faces and there are a lot of watch faces you can download from the store and all of them are free. You can even set a custom watch face so you can be sure that there will be something that you will like. Now my experience with the watch has been pretty good. I love most of the things about it. I find some of the things strange but there is one thing that I really hate about it and I hope that Cospet will do something to fix it. But I will get to that a bit later. So let's talk about messages first, because those are the things that you interact with the most. Actually, you don't interact with them. Uh, they're very convenient because they get delivered to your watch and you get a preview of the first few lines of your messages. If you get a long email, you can't read the whole thing. If you get a very long message, you can't read the whole thing. You don't get emojis on it, but you get the first 150, 200 characters of your message and you can decide whether it's worth reading it on your phone or not. Now, this is great because I get a preview of the message and I can decide whether it's important enough to take out my phone. If I check it on my phone, then I immediately get distracted and waste a few minutes on the phone before I put it back. So it has saved me time. Now I wish there was a way of responding to the messages, even if it was just canned responses, yes, no, or preset, some preset responses. At the moment, this is not possible. It's not a deal breaker for me. Now, phone calls, you can reject your phone calls, but you can also take the phone calls because it is connected to your phone via Bluetooth. So. Uh, you, it has a speaker, it's got a microphone, and you can talk. Now, of course, if the environment is very loud, you're not going to hear it, but in a quiet room, you don't need to take your phone out. You can take the call on the watch itself. Now, the battery life has been excellent. Now, Cospet claims that the battery can last up to 15 days if you don't have the always-on display on and if you don't use the GPS. And I think this is right. I typically get about eight days 
when I turn on my GPS for commuting for about an hour a day. Charging is done with its proprietary cable and it takes about one and a half hours. Speaking of GPS, I love this feature because I love seeing my stats and this is where I see value in it as a bike commuter. It is absolutely not necessary, but it is very nice to have. It acquires GPS signal quite fast. If you are not moving, uh, it picks up the signal within 20 seconds or even less and you're ready to go. There is Strava integration, but I haven't been able to get it to work. For me, it is enough to see how much I rode in the companion app. Let's talk about other sport modes because it has 170 sport modes. You can imagine that some of them are really useful, but others are a little bit more gimmicky or shall I say useless? I mean, indoor and outdoor walking and cycling and running and high intensity interval training, swimming, those are great, but elevator, escalator, in vehicle, being still, fishing, come on, what can you track in these things? Those are clearly there just to inflate the numbers. The watch also has an option for auto sport detection, which sounds great in theory, but what I get sometimes is I get out of bed, I take a few steps and it immediately prompts me to start a workout. It says, you seem to be exercising, do you want to start a workout? <laughs> and I'm clearly not. Or sometimes I just sit in the car and I'm driving and it gives me an alert. It says, you seem to be cycling. Do you want to start a workout? <laughs> and I'm clearly not. And then a few minutes later it says, it looks like you are not moving. Uh, it's time to get up and uh, stretch your legs. There is clearly some room for improvement there. Now those are just some minor annoyances, but my biggest gripe by far with this watch is the alarm. You can set the alarm, but you cannot make it silent. There's no silent alarm on the watch. You can get your messages with a vibration only. You can get the phone calls with vibration only, but not an alarm. Come on, I think that is a huge Oversight. I mean, if somebody is sleeping next to you and you don't want to wake them up, you just want the vibrating silent alarm, you can't do it. I really hope that Cospet fixes this with a future software update. And if they do, I'm going to leave a pinned comment under this video. And also I'm going to leave a link there in case you are interested in purchasing this watch and these are not deal breakers for you. Now, I, I think Cospet made a very desirable and good looking product that you will be glad to use if you can live with its limitations. And I'm excited to see what they have in the pipeline for us. And until then, take care, bye bye.